Hello, I just have a quick video for you today. PowerShell 7, how to install it, get it on your machine, run up the obvious PowerShell windows. And yeah, that's about it. So I'll just jump straight in. Here you go. Right, so PowerShell 7. Let's firstly have a look what we've got installed. So we can do that with the PSVR, tab that out. You can see that we have 5.1 on this machine, which is the normal Windows 10 one. So that's all good. So what we can do is we can do a quick search on the uh, the Winget so we can see what is available on there, which we do with this command. Winget, and we do a search for Microsoft PowerShell. And that will show us that we have available for us 7.3, there we go. So we want to install that. Now we can install it through the console itself and that's a very easy command to do. What it's going to do, let me just get it started here and I can tell you, it's going to grab the uh, MSI file and install it like like a, uh, a quiet version of it so it's not going to ask you any questions. So we can do that with this command and you'll see how that works. You can see the URL which you can actually grab and copy out. So while this is going, I'm just going to grab that URL and have it pasted ready. I want to grab that later and show you you can install that manually and there's a few options where you want to do that. But you can see what it's doing is it just grabs that install file and drops it on the machine. So this, as I say, this is the easy way to install it and to get it working. So we'll just let that run through and uh, there we go, successfully installed. Now. What you would expect is if I just go up and look at the table, you can see 5.1. Obviously, we haven't restarted this, but what it does is it actually installs PowerShell 7 alongside 5.1, so you can use both. So when you go to the uh, the Start menu, you're going to get a different um, experience with that. You're going to see PowerShell 7 come up. Now, if you run that, it's going to look like this. So you can see just picking that out of the Start menu, I get now PowerShell 7, so I can use both of them. Now, if I do the PS4, now also you can see some of the differences straight away. It's showing you what you can type ahead, just grayed underneath, which is incredibly helpful. And you can see 7.3. Now, what you will notice is when you go back to your Start menu and start looking for the ISE, there is no ISE for 7.3. So how you're meant to do it now is that you would use Visual Studio Code. So if you don't have Visual Studio Code, go get it, install it. It's a much better version than the ISE, and you can do a much more with it and really utilize this PowerShell 7 accordingly. So, uh, so there you go. So what I'm just going to do quite quickly now is uninstall that MSI from the normal apps inside Windows 10. And then I'm going to show you how we, when you grab it off of the, the website, what it looks like when you install that manually with the MSI. Okay, so with that gone, I'm just going to pop up Power the Firefox and we'll paste in that uh, address. And you can see that's what we grabbed off of that uh, install function. We'll just grab that. As you can see, downloading the install file, and we'll just hit the open when complete. It is the same size, 101 meg, so it takes a second or two. But there we go. We say, yep, we do want to run that. And you'll get this. Now, you might notice this from some of the stickers we had at Ignite in uh, 2019, but still, it's pretty cool. Um, so next there, you can see, yes, we're going to install it into Windows PowerShell. And you can see there's the options we can have. So I'm going to do the context here and next on there. Yes, we want to update automatically. That's always handy to do and install. So you can see the other option with the WinGet is, is clearly an easy way to do it. But uh, this just gives us a couple of extra options in there. And it essentially does exactly the same thing. Just puts that PowerShell 7 available for us. But you can see it runs through pretty quick. Nothing really much to it. And we can say, yeah, we'll launch it afterwards. Why not? And you can see, if I just organize my windows there for you, um, you can see there's the PowerShell 7 come straight back again. Now, I will actually just run up the uh, Visual Studio code for you, just so you can see what it looks like. You can see here, 
with the extensions that it has. It is quite the upgrade if you're used to using the ISE. Um, there's a lot you can do extra with the, uh, the way the code looks and, and the way you can debug things. It, it's actually pretty awesome. So uh, I'm not going to get into it in this video. That's, that's for another time, but absolutely download Visual Studio Code. It is free. Just do a quick search for it. You'll find it. And you can really start to use the PowerShell 7 and uh, and really everything in Visual Studio Code to, to write better scripts and do things much nicer. So um, with that, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. You know the deal. And we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.